I've learned from the Gila Cliffs episode now. I know how to say this one. Welcome to Chiricahua National Monument. Chiricahua National Monument is located in southeastern Arizona, about 30 miles southeast of Wilcox. It was established on April 18, 1924 to protect its rhyolite pinnacles, hoodoos, and balanced rocks. Can you just jump out? I want to see how much ground clearance I actually have on things like this. Just yeah, so future. like on the back? Yeah. On the very back. It'll be as the trailer dips to the bottom. Yeah. Not much left. Like maybe five inches. I mean, it's hard to see from afar, but yeah. maybe five inches. The first thing would go would be the step, the bottom of the step. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's how I opened. I wouldn't have guessed that. I'd guess the bike right. Yeah. That's the... I nearly hit the tree as well. I was watching that side so much, I realized <laughs> it came within two inches of the tree. <laughs> Jeez. Nearly the, out of the... The, this, the side of the car? No, the roof of the trailer. We have just arrived at the Chiricahua National Monument and we have parked up at the Bonita Campground and now we're gonna walk around and see how it looks like. Bonita Canyon Campground is the only campground in the Chiricahua National Monument. The length limit for RVs and trailers is 29 feet. There are a total of 25 sites and about half of them are RV sites. The cost is $20 a night and I think it's well worth it in this beautiful setting. There are no hookups for RVs, there is a potable water for drinking and there are bathrooms. Here is a dip in the road where trailers with lower ground clearance might struggle a little bit. We're starting our day today at the Echo Canyon Trailhead. So we've just taken the shuttle up from the visitor center and now we're gonna do this hike. It's kind of hitting a load of different trails today. We're really trying to see as much as possible of what the park here has to offer. So come along with us and let's see what there is here. So there are multiple ways of how we can hike this area. What we're gonna do, we are starting here at Echo Canyon Trail. Uh, we'll do that trail. Then we'll do Hillstone Trail, Mushroom Rock Trail, We'll go up to Inspiration Point and back. We'll continue on Big Balance Rock Trail. We'll do the Heart of Rocks Loop. We'll return back through Sarah Deming Canyon and then Lower Rhyolite Canyon Trail. These amazing rock structures that you can see behind me are called the Pinnacles. And these were formed originally about 27 million years ago when a volcano in the area called the Turkey Creek Volcano spewed ash everywhere in the area. That formed a rock known as rhyolite, and it was the erosion of that rock that's left these pinnacles. The Chiricahua Apache called these pinnacles the standing up rock. So in total today, we're planning to hike a little over eight miles, but it's these first few miles that go along the Echo Canyon Trail through the pinnacles that are supposedly the most beautiful. The trail here is a bit rocky. We're stepping down quite a few steps here and climbing over some small rocks and things, but it is well worth it. These pinnacles are absolutely stunning. They kind of remind me of Bryce Canyon. They're a different color. They're not the red rock that you have at Bryce, but the formations are really, really similar. It's beautiful here. It also reminds me of the Pinnacles National Park in California. It's yeah. not as big as this one, um, but also really cool hiking trails through the Pinnacles. Yeah. So the trail literally goes between the Pinnacles and some of these places are really tight. Right now we're walking through this little, almost canyon area and the pinnacles just rise up on either side of you. It's incredible.
So we were walking down the trail and we've just stopped at this area and there's a sign here that says Echo Park. And the pinnacles around here are pretty huge and it's pretty open. So I'm going to guess it echoes here. Let's find out. Yep, it echoes. Let me try again. That's better. So walking down the trail, we've just come across water. I think that looks totally drinkable, don't you? Yeah, no, no, not happening. No, I would not drink that at all. Okay, joking aside, this probably isn't drinking water, but it is pretty beautiful still to have this little creek running through. We've just crossed over it here, little, uh, little bridge, and you can kind of see the steps where we've come down there as well. It's pretty cool. There's a trail on the hillside. Looks like that probably is going to be the way we're going to come out. And then there's valley behind the hills. And actually, this place is called Sky Island because this mountain range is kind of right in the middle of the desert. It's completely surrounded by flat valleys. Okay, so we're now at the fork in the trail. The sign says that we've done about 1.6 miles so far. My watch says 1.9, someone's lying, not sure who yet, we'll get to the bottom of that one later. Uh, but for now, we're going to be changing on to the Hailstone Trail, uh, and that's saying, oh, a couple of miles maybe, uh, up to the next stopping point for us. We've reached our next fork in the trail. This time there's the Ed Riggs Trail that heads off that way. We're going to be taking the Mushroom Rock Trail, though, up to Inspiration Point. And according to the little map down there, Inspiration Point is kind of right behind us, so I'm going to guess it's up there somewhere. Continuing our hike up, we are now at the next intersection on the trail. This time we are going to be heading right up there to Inspiration Point. When we come back, you can see now, we're going to be down and we've just come up the Mushroom Rock Trail. When we get back, we will be heading that way along the Balance Rock Trail. Notice how different the scenery is here. We're no longer in these canyons, surrounded by pinnacles, we've got ponderosa pines, we've got a very different landscape. This area was also burned, there was a big wildfire that came through here in 2011, and so you can see all the burned trees behind me. Very different scenery here. We're up here now at a part of the hike known as Inspiration Point. If you look over there in the distance, you can actually see that's the high point in the area. That's known as Sugarloaf Mountain. And a little bit over that way as well is where we started this morning. From here, we're going to be heading back down here, all the way down the canyon to the visitor center at the bottom. But while we're here, how incredible is this? We've just stopped here for our lunch. It's about 1.15 now, and we're going to make our way down. But just look at those pinnacles around. Is that not absolutely beautiful? So from here, we're going to be heading back the way we came, off there, and then I think we're going to be heading around there and back down the canyon. This place is called Inspiration Point, and I'm pretty sure we have seen other Inspiration Points in other national parks. I think Bryce Canyon may have had one, and Death Valley may have had a one. And you know how my brain works? As soon as I see one thing of multiple things, I want to count them all. So you'll have to subscribe and follow our journey to find out how many inspiration points they find. Walking down the trail from Inspiration Point, we're going to find a big balanced rock somewhere. I think we might have found it. We just checked the map, and it turns out that although that was a big balanced rock, it actually wasn't the big balanced rock. Which basically means there is a bigger, better balanced, rockier rock somewhere up ahead. Or, if there's not, I'm gonna feel really cheated. Cause that was definitely, I like, I looked at that and I was like, wow, that is a big balanced rock. So if that wasn't it, 
There's got to be one better. Let's find out. Got some good news. We found the big balance rock. This one is definitely big. It's definitely balanced. And it's definitely a rock. I think that one deserves the title. According to the sign, this big balance rock is over 22 feet in diameter. It's 25 feet high and it weighs a thousand tons and it's balanced just there. Is that a thrill? Does it look like a thrill to you? Yeah? Okay. Definitely gets your heart racing. Mm. That is definitely the camel's head. It's almost like canyoneering. Yeah. But high up. Hey. Did you guys find the real balancing rock? We did. We were like, <laughs> we've been lied to. <laughs> they told us. <laughs> we steered you wrong. <laughs> Can you imagine finding a trail through all of this? Could easily, so early, you could easily get lost here. Especially through this kind of rock jungle. <clears throat> yeah. After the big balance rock up there, we went round the Heart of Rocks, which was really incredible to see some pretty big and fairly comically named rock formations up there, which was good fun. We're now making our way down. This is the Sarah Deming Trail, and this heads down a mile or so, and then we'll join up with the Lower Rhyolite Canyon Trail. And from there, it's a straight shot back to the visitor center. But as we walk down here, as we're descending through the forest, it's changed the landscape again so much. We're now in forests, it's kind of a rocky trail, and the smell is just wow. beautiful. It's the, sort of the, the pine tree smell is really coming through. I wish we could show that on the video, but you'll have to take my word for it. It's pretty, pretty nice. We're right at the end of this hike. We are just coming into the visitor center at the trailhead now. The, uh, the hike, my watch died a little while back. Mine is on 1%. I think he's going to make it a little bit. Hanging in. It says that we're about 9.8 miles right now. Yep. So a little bit longer than the 8.3 that, that we uh, we thought. I uh, I think my maybe my watch was recording miles too fast and that's why the battery died. <laughs> but we're just coming into the end now. Oh, critically low, saving activity. Okay. There we go. It, okay. Diana's watch has died as well. But we made so. it. We, like, we are <laughs> 100 feet from the end. We made it. We are at the end now. Tomorrow, got some more exciting hikes planned. We are going to do a hike in the morning to uh, see some natural bridges mm -hmm. and then we've got a ranger tour after that which is going to be super good fun and then finally for sunset we're going to do another hike and hopefully get up to the sh top of uh, Sugarloaf Mountain and uh, and see sunset from there. So there we are, we are at the end, you can see there the visitor centre. So stay tuned and let's see what tomorrow brings. If you enjoyed this video please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Next up will be part two of visiting Chiricahua National Monument. Look, it's Echo Park. Do you think it will echo? I imagine so, yes. Yeah. After millions of years of erosion, and what we're left over with... I can't do this.
We've reached our next fork in the trail. This time we've got the eggs den. Yeah. We this place is called Inspiration Point. They do one, and I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Other national parks. <laughs> Thor's hammer. 